Okay, I'm going to explain to you how I can embed a Google Drive video using Homestead Site Builder. First of all, when you go into Site Builder, you open up Site Builder, and this is a program you, uh, a website building program that you buy from Homestead Technologies. I'm paying about uh, $21 a month and um, I can't wait till Vladimir puts my website at Church of Gale so I don't have to do that anymore but he tells me that um, the Jesuits are encrypting all the pages and making it very difficult for him to um, to get the pages set up at the Church of Gale servers. Anyways, you open up Site Builder and as you can see here this is the um, Site Builder page when you open it up and then in the upper left, you want to open up your um, the files that list all the files to your um, all the web pages in your website. And I have eight. Um, I've got about eight or nine or ten web pages at my site. And then you choose the one you want. And um, I'm going to choose the index page that's usually the front page of every or the first page of every website and um, so you choose the um, and here is the index page when you open it up <clears throat> and um, this is what my index page looks like and what I'm going to be doing, there's all sorts of things you can do on the index page. You can add photo. I mean, up at the, up at the top, there's a list of things you can do. You can add pictures, JPEG files. Uh, you can add sound media files. I um, I don't like to do that because it takes up too much space on my uh, website, and I prefer to just uh, make my own uh, MP3 file and borrow somebody else's space to do that. Um, uh, for instance, I have a ton of videos on my website, and rather than have my website be the host site for the videos, I borrow Google Drive space, and they have bought, they give you 15 gigabytes of free space to host videos. So I borrow their space and just have my website connect to their site, and then I, I embed the videos off of Google Drive or One True Media or whatever or Vimeo, whatever I'm using, and or I, you can also do it with YouTube, and I've done it with all of these uh, companies, uh, and you can embed it at your site. But I'm going to show you how I do Google Google Drive because One True Media is closing down, and I have spent week uh, 15 days downloading all my One True Media videos, and um and then re reloading them back up to Google Drive so that I could host them at my site. So I basically transitioned off of One True Media to Google Drive. So here I am at the index page, and I'm going to choose the HTML button because that's what you need to use if you want to embed a Google Drive video at Homestead Site Builder. And um, so I choose HTML and and when I choose it, then it pops up as a square on the screen. And you can move the square to wherever on your website you want your video to be. So I choose on this page to have my video in the upper right. Now when you see that square, that represents the upper or the northwest corner of your video box. So that'll give you an idea how to position it. Position it. And um, I have learned from experience, and what I love about site builders, they have these gradient lines so you can get an idea, you know, exactly where you're positioning your elements. And I've learned that for Google Drive videos, their standard size, which is the size they give you, is about, on site builders, about 13 blocks, boxes from top to bottom. That would be your height. And the width is about 17 boxes. So when I put the square in there, I count the gradient lines to make sure I have enough space for the video when, I, when it's published. That way I know 
how to arrange the elements around it to have a nice presentation for the video on the page. So that's how I work with that little box. Now, that little box is not going to be the size of the video. That's the, like the upper northwest corner. And it's going to extend down and across going from left to right and from top to bottom from that um, upper, that Pacific Northwest, should I call it, box, you know. <laughs> All right. And, okay, then you, uh, once you find where you, once you've got the box where you want it, then you select property editors. And, um, and then, then you go into the property editor box and you, um, hit that button so that you can, uh, embed your code into the H right, right, right where that HTML box is. And then, whoa, voila, there's your box to embed your code. Of course, now, now I've shown you how to get to, you know, which, where, how you can, and how you can embed the code at Site Builder or Homestead Site Builder. But now let, let me show you how to get the embed code from Google Drive. Okay. So you go to Google and you get up on the Google page. There's a Google Drive shaped like a triangle. You can get to Google Drive that way or through Gmail. If you go through Gmail, when you get into the doc, you know, in, when that document text box comes up in the bottom, there's like a triangle and you clip on, hit on that and that'll take you to Google Drive. But I'm going to show you how to get to Google Drive. When you open up to Google and you just go ahead and click right on that triangle that says Google Drive. Okay, when you click on that triangle, you get into your Google Drive. And I happen to have some folders that I've created. And the folder that I want to get into is the website folder because that's where I have the, you know, the file that I'm interested in. Okay, when you click on, um, once you then you see the list of all the files in your web in your folder then you click on the file you want and then this this comes up and you can see what you want is what is in the bottom right it says i think it says oh, it's a blue tab you click on that and that will open up your file and then up in the and then in the upper right you click on the share button. It's a blue tab. And then that will give you your share settings. And it starts off with private. Well, I obviously don't want this to be private because I want people to see it on my website. So I say anybody with the link can view. And I change that. And then at the bottom, you click done. And then after you do that, it'll give you the option to say only the editor, only the owner can change the settings or your, or you can allow those who view to edit and change the settings. Well, I don't like people to change the settings. So I say only the owner can do it. Okay. Then once you click done, then you'll notice in the upper left, there's a file tab. You click on that and a drop down box comes and voila, there's your embed code. And you, uh, and also at the top is a share button. If you click share, you'll get the code you need for links at your website. So I get both. I get the code I need for links and the embed code. And then you, um, when you click on the embed selection, they give you the embed code and there it is. And what I do is I copy and paste the embed code as well as the, the code for the link and I put it on a Microsoft Word file that I've created just to store all, right, all my code so I can have them ready to copy and paste right into my website. So there's my Microsoft Word file. Now what's really interesting is I was playing around with the code and I don't didn't quite like the size of the Google Drive video. I thought, this is too big. I want some smaller videos for my website. So I played around with the code and I found that the dimensions of 500 by 410 makes a nice square shaped video that's smaller than the standard one that comes with Google Drive. The Google Drive one's kind of big, it's huge, it's rectangular shaped. So depending on what I want to do at my website, I can go with the larger square shaped code or I can go with the square, a more square shaped one. But I found that 510 by 410 works. And it's a simple matter of just substituting 500 for one number and 410 for the other number and and it works. It's real easy manipulation of HTML here. <laughs> I've never really taken a full course in HTML. I kind of dabbled around in it, you know. Okay, so now you've got your code. You go back to your website building program 
and right there you're in, in your HTML editor and you just paste that code right in there and say you're done hit OK and then you publish the page and your videos there for the world to watch now I have done this with um, I've got how many Google Drive videos embedded at my or through links at my website I probably got about 50 that I've done this with now I'm showing you the embed process the link uh, process is a little different you just click on link up at the top and then just follow all the tab instructions you know it's pretty self-explanatory you click on you click on link and then they show you how you can um, copy and paste the link codes in and then you can put that in your website wherever you want so that's that's a lot easier so I'm not going into that you can figure that out just by going to the directions for homestead but you know knowing how to embed is using the HTML box is a little trickier so those of you who do have homestead you might appreciate knowing how to do this so and I have been doing this a lot I had to revamp my entire website I had to take down all my one true media videos and replace them with Google Drive videos and I got like hundreds I had like hundreds of one true media videos it took me so long anyways I'm a I am a pro at homestead site building uh, what website building program I've been doing this ever since 2010 I know this like the this program like the back of my hand I used to have to call the, their you know techie guys all the time to get help and now I never need to call them I probably know more about it than they do almost <laughs> the only bad thing is is Vladimir's trying to wean my website away from homestead and the Jesuits have infiltrated homestead and they've encrypted the pages Pray that Vladimir can get my web website up at Church of Gale servers. I would just love that.